It's a combination of physical, mechanical effects and so on and, and coordinating all these elements together has been very complicated. Before we started shooting, I drew every shot of the movie based on these drawings. We have planned all the effects. Whatever Rennie leaves tonight, the firefight stuff, we'll yeah. do that. Okay. We'll finish that up and then we continue our snowmobile chase. Charlie Ekosirni uh, is the stunt coordinator and he, he's excellent with actors. He's very cautious, very careful. Bruce, our hero, is chasing the band of snowmobile terrorists. So we have cuts of Bruce going across the lake, the ice on this area here. And now what I'm doing is getting one cut of him coming across like it's a patch of ice and snow when he goes through it. Many times Bruce Willis wants to do his stunts himself and sometimes uh, Charlie and I have to calm him down and tell him not to do them because we want to keep him alive and well. To make it look as hazardous as possible, we're going to break up the ice a little bit and uh, have the snowmobile come flying through and splash water up to try and give him what he wants. He's excellent because there's a, there's a certain coordination of mixing real actors and stuntmen and so on, and so we, we try to use doubles whenever we can. It'll probably go down a little bit. You'll see, you'll see it go down a little bit. It won't sink. It'll go right, it'll skim right over the top of it. Because the snowmobiles the way they're built, they're almost like a jet ski in a way. They're light enough to do the kind of stuff that we want to do with them. So they're, uh, they're a good machine as opposed to some of the other ones, and that is uh, maneuverable. What is very important about stunts is that they are done right and safely, and they still give the experience of seeing something new, seeing something spectacular. You're going to start with, you have a long lens, probably 300 millimeter or 180. I don't mean I mean I mean long as far as time. So I don't tell you. Okay. Start way down the you, you don't work fast in cold weather. We were in some high altitude, and the crew tires quickly from that. From that angle there, from that distance, you can blow snow this long. Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay, roll cameras. You got speed. We've been averaging 10 degrees below, 15 below zero for a lot of nights now. You were beautiful. Very beautiful. nice. Perfect. We've had to shoot probably a third of it outdoors in snow, so it's a little tougher. As Bruce is chasing the bad guys, they have blanks in the gun, so Bruce picks up one of the bad guys' guns and he shoots up and nothing happens. So in the meantime, he's chasing them, now they chase him. And at the end of the chase, he jumps this big hill, they're firing at him, they blow the snowmobile up, and he gets blown off it. And the way I do that is we have what we call an air ratchet. It's our nitrogen air. And we cable off the stuntman in the back, and we put an explosive in the uh, Yamaha, and then tie uh, enough uh, cord on him to pull the explosive. As he's jerked off the bike, he trips the explosion, and off he goes. Whatever these guys are pointing the guns at, I have to make look like they're shooting up. So everything has to look like what the gun is doing. We're using automatic weapons shooting several rounds a minute and I've got to make the report of that match. Now one thing we may do, I may have to pull that ritter over that way a little bit. So I had one where kind of, it was a lot of rough stuff, but we didn't have this to contend with. You know, this one here is a, is a lot tougher show to do. Roll the cameras. 